Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. This is our 12th video on Laravel e-commerce project. In this video, we will show the count of add to cart uh, items, right? So in the previous video, we just see that how we can just add the item inside a cart table. So when we just click on add to cart, we need to just uh, save the data for the user, right? So for a moment, you can see that we have only one data here and let's say user just want to buy it then he can just click on add to cart and now user one have the two items one with the id 3 and one with the 4 so we will show this count in this video here so that we can just get to know how many items have in our cart so now let's get start yes this video have uh, only three small points one we will make a function to get the data from cart table uh, respected to the logged in user then um, we will use this function inside our header file and uh, we will just show our count here right on a cart then we can test it uh, with the complete flow of uh, add to cart and uh, then we will just push our code inside the github repository right so first of all we need to just uh, use this uh, or you can say that make this function inside our uh, controller so just go inside the controllers and just uh, sorry just jump on a product controller and let's create a one more function here let's say my function name is cart item right and uh, simply we can just um, uh, return here some like uh, data but for that first of all let's just get the data from the session and we need to import the session for that right so just choose here session and now we can choose a session inside our uh, this function so just take a user id variable and just simply use here a session get and here we can just simply put here user ID and uh, this now this user variable have the data from database right keep in mind that you should be logged in in our your project otherwise you will uh, not get that that right so here you can see that we are logged in that's why we are not jumping on the login page right yes I know the login functionality and create user functionality is missing now and uh, there is a no sorry logout functionality as well as create new user functionality is missing now I will just create this functionality on this weekend also because I have a two day off and I am completely free so I will just complete this uh, missing part right so after that uh, uh, let's uh, just uh, get the data respected to this ID from database so just return here cart and what is that cart this is our model and we just uh, imported it here right we created the cart model in the last video and now just simply put here where condition and it should be small where and uh, we will just put here user underscore id will be equal to uh, user id right and uh, then we can just simply get a count from the database right so this file is completed now Yes, there is a one uh, thing that we, we will add, but uh, before that, I will show you the error if we are not going to use that, right? And now let's uh, just go inside uh, what we can say resources, then views, and then uh, header.blade.php, right? Go to the top, and here just uh, simply use here PHP. my bad and uh, use and let's import this uh, product controller so just simply put the path here app http controllers and uh, then we can use here product controller right and uh, just take a variable let's say total and here we can just put here product controller and just use here item cart item 
right and uh, after that let's try to refresh it and now you can just find here an error and the error is non static method this should not be called inside the statically statically because this is a non static variable and we are, we just want to call it with the scope resolution method which is not possible so what we can do here we can just simply add here a static keyword right and now you will just find that there is a uh, no error uh, on our page but there is a no uh, item inside the cart also because we did not print this uh, uh, you can say variable so now just uh, go inside a cart text use double curly braces and just put here variable dollar total like dollar and what you can find now uh, there is an I think I just misspell it it should be a total right and what you can see that we have a two item inside the cart because we have only two data uh, respected to this ID so now let's try to add some more functionalities uh, let's say I just want to add uh, this mobile again so just click on the add to cart and now we have the three items again let's say you just want to buy a fridge freeze then you can add it so now we have a four item in our cart so that's all about this video in the next video we will learn that how we can just uh, show all the items from the uh, cart table respecting to the specific user and we can remove the item from the cart also because this is also a very important functionality and uh, logout functionality i will try to complete on this weekend also thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care